Why would a speaking coach persuade you not to sound like a speaker? Well, the answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Have you ever listened to somebody on stage and thought, wow, that, that person's good, but you didn't really feel anything? Didn't that individual sound or look like a speaker? This is one of the most common problems I see for people who are new in the business or just getting used to being on stage. They sound like speakers. If you want to truly connect with people and to communicate, you have to move beyond sounding like a speaker and just being real on stage. For example, uh, let's say someone's talking about getting upset with their child for breaking a favorite dish in the living room. The way many people tell a story like that is they'll say, well, I was upset with my son and I sat down and, and I scolded him and I told him how angry I was at being so careless. That's what I would call speaker or reporter mode. You're giving the facts. If you want us to really connect with you and feel your pain or feel the emotion of the scene, take us into it. Let us know how you felt in the scene. Sit down with the child and say, you know, that dish was for my grandma, and I'm so mad at you for breaking it. I've told you time and time again, do not throw the ball in here. You did, and that's exactly what happened. That's why you're being punished. That's a realistic scene. I'm not a speaker anymore. I'm a communicator. Some people would say, isn't that acting? A little bit, but as you've heard about in a previous video, this isn't about acting. It's reliving the scene. Hall of Fame speaker Lou Heckler has said, and I'm paraphrasing, don't tell us, take us. Put us in the scene. Don't be speaker person. Don't write like a speaker. Write like you talk. So as you go through your next script, take a look at various scenes that you've created between characters. Or again, if you're not writing in dialogue, you should be. Get out of narration into dialogue. But ask yourself, is this how I talk? Especially when I'm feeling emotional. If I'm really happy, do I say things like, I felt great joy and pleasure at the situation and I wanted it to continue. No, you say, I'm happy. Or you say, I'm mad. Whatever it is, whatever the emotion you're trying to portray, say it the way you say it in real life. And you move beyond being a speaker and you become a communicator who connects with others because you're being real. See you in our next daily dose of public speaking wisdom.